what was I doing? Uh, so, and that may kumpinta sa aking PDF portfolio. But at that time, this got me a job, guys. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Ika here. It's been a while since my last multimedia vlog. I'm back with the MMA stuff. First thing that I wanted to talk about again was portfolio. Let's see what my first ever portfolio as a multimedia arts graduate in Benilde looks like. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Let's get it! So I have my laptop and we're gonna scroll through the digital PDF portfolio. This is really printed, but usually I get a company na I applied for because it's beautiful. Oh, joke. Lang. And then, I get it. I'm gonna flash it here but we're gonna go through it digitally. I do have a website, but I just wanted to go through this one first. It's a little bit more detailed because my website portfolio ko medyo nilatag ko lang whatever my works are. But my PDF portfolio, my, my layout pa talaga siya, my text, you have a little bit about me, about the works, my passion and all that. So yeah, it's really a booklet and it has a lot of pages. So let's go. This is the first page and portfolio a glimpse so union title a glimpse of my MA life this is my logo and i also used this before in my past vlogs but i shifted to my handwritten signature at the end just because it feels um, a little bit more personal than the official logo or it looks like a company or whatever my branding before was very very detailed so the logo looks like it's nothing like it's just i and l but it's actually a maze and if you haven't seen the animation i think i showed it in my past video where i reacted to my old uh, multimedia arts projects i'm gonna read it out a maze has usually one starting point and one end point the maze i am in has a lot of entrances and exits Multimedia is a wide industry where I can express myself in different ways. In moments I think I get lost around what I want to do, I stumble upon something new. Around the maze are a lot of new openings, a lot of opportunities, and, and in this maze, I continue to roll around, explore, and create art. So mga panahong iyan, hindi pa ubos, hindi pa piga, a creative juices. May ibubuga pa. Dito ko, bindigay lahat before um when i was in college yeah of course your portfolio is very very important mma is just you you get tokens kaya nga yung maze diba? you just get tokens of uh, and a little bit of each thing so that you can get through the maze and uh each aspect important and say it's an mma artist okay so here's a little bit of me an emotion felt a memory to keep, an adventure to share, a story to inspire. Art exists not only to show beauty but also to influence lives. All these keep me going every day. Take a glimpse of my world. So, yung palayon, yun yung story kung bakat a glimpse yung title ng aking portfolio. I get the gist of this poem or whatever it is, but I think I can do better now. <laughs> I like the take a glimpse of my world. I'm critiquing my own old portfolio. Okay, so initializing, yun nga, yung maze. This is part of my website before na pag nag-load, ito yung GIF. Um, I, I'm, I'm gonna try to look for it and flash it here on the screen. Mawawala yung ibang maze, ang matitira yung IL. So ito na talaga yung start. Ang dami kong sinabi, but this is the start of my the works that I did. These are actually not real projects. Things I had to do because it was part of one of the subjects we had, which is portfolio or port, para may mailagay ako na maganda and worthy of you know, presenting this to um, a company. And so we had to go to the dessert museum to create a video and have, have a shoot. Magalaw lang talaga yung kamay ko. I get excited a lot of times and when things happen, I just forget that I'm doing this for a project and I'm not just having fun. So that's what happened. But I'm pretty satisfied with the photos we took. Somehow, it uh, I really wanted to create something bright and fun. Next one is um, a video. We interviewed um, a drag queen. And this is my first time to also hear what drag really means. So I was opened to something new. This was actually a project for 
one of my electives, which is I forgot. Corporate video class, there you go. So I really loved the output of this. We interviewed OV Kant, and I think that's what's you know important or fun. You just learn a lot of things, not just in your own field, but about different people, especially if you interview them. Okay, for this one, uh, this is just me eating. And I said, okay, I just need a project to add to my portfolio. I'm gonna take a video and I'm gonna take pictures. At that time, I told you I'm pretty excited about a lot of things. So my video would always be shaky, but if I edit it, post edit, the stabilize, stabil, to stabilize it, but it doesn't really work well. It's like I'm just making shorts or stories for social media. I think my, my photos look great here. Oh, this one is Korea Trip 2018. Just a travel video, which is really bad, I think. I would say it's good for a vlog, but not for a travel video, which is like professional. Very shaky, I was just having fun. Seriously, 2018, what was I doing? Uh, so, and dami kong pinta sa aking PDF portfolio. But at that time, this got me a job, guys. So, this is good enough. Continuation video, Korea trip. So, we went to Lotte. I had a video for that. Here are some photos we took. I edited this in Lightroom to just have better colors. Next one, this is again a project for a corporate video class. And we needed to showcase the SDA architectural structure. This is my first ever video. I think that I had to upload in YouTube so that I could also show it in my website portfolio. This was what, when, I don't know, 2019 or something, 2018. Fast forward to today, it's one of my top watched videos, which I didn't know I would get a lot of views because I really just uploaded this for my portfolio. And I would say that I had fun and I was able to really give justice to the SDA building. If you see here, the Basobam Potinya, your SDA building. Honestly, I just edited that in video and post because it was um, a little bit dirty, so I had to clean it up a bit by increasing the brightness and fixing up the colors just so. Uh, it wouldn't look overexposed or edited in some part. Oh, the Sunny Studios um, thing. This was a project for motion graphic class. And the only thing we had or my group had were sunglasses. So we said, okay, let's just shoot this thing. This was very, very YOLO, I would say. Even the, the, the strokes are not straight. And I just did this because we had to submit it. Pero sobrang saya because I've always wanted to edit something similar to that, you know, sketches. Although it's better to do it in in Photoshop, this type of editing style than in After Effects. Comment down below if you agree. Next one is a photo album that I made, and I also printed this for my photography class. I took photos of. Um, my cousin's baby shower. These are just some samples and I just did a quick layout for it. The next one is a booklet and a brochure I did for my cousin in Australia and they were selling some essential oils. So they gave me the photos and I just did the quick layout. They also gave me the write-ups. I'm still proud of this one. It looks pretty nice and elegant. Video, hashtag advertisement. Oh, these ones are just really part of our advertising class. Yeah, uh, create a video where we are at, at agency. We also had to create this bubblegum na kakaiba. So yun yung pitch namin, yung finals namin, and midterms. What's gonna be the edge of my product? So yeah, and so we also edited some posters. Powdered popping bubblegum. It's like bursting into your mouth. So firebomb. Um, my groupmate did the logo and I did the layouting and stuff like that. So this is what we do, yeah. Uh, Mr. Moose. So this is a real client of mine until now. And I placed it here to just show a simple poster I created for for them. Uh, I also took that photo and did the layouting for like a simple menu. So I also created some summary video 
and I took photos during the events of my cousin's son's birthday again and uh, I have a lot of cousins, okay. I took the opportunity to place it also in my portfolio. So video, if you guys don't know Elate, it's it's one of my favorite ice cream. It's rolled ice cream by the way and I love this. I would always go to the branch in Century Mall in Makati. But yeah, pandemic happened and I don't get to get the rolled ice cream as much as I did before. And they are well known for the CSR since their staff are um, deaf partners, also from Benilde, some are also from Benilde. We did an interview with one of the staff members and we just took some photos for um, one of our projects also, Treats Magazine. Okay, so I did this for my writing class. I wrote the articles here and since our output was a magazine, we had to lay out stuff, we had to basically do everything from scratch from writing to taking photos to layouting and having it printed so everything here is made by me yeah and I think I have also showed this before in my uh, video so click the link down below and check that out so the same goes with this most photos I took during my photography class and the layouting happened in the Adobe classes I just forgot the name uh, this is the first time I encountered how to do the InDesign, Adobe InDesign. So this is the output of it. Some of you don't know, I love to bake. And me and my sister, we, just, we started this small selling of sweet treats before. I created the logo and up to just creating all the collaterals for advertising, marketing. When I graduated, I had work. We didn't really have the time to bake and all that. It would be good to go back. So this one, LOL, was for my... Uh, what class was this? This is also a project before. Supposed to be an output for a research paper. Again, there, a uh, proposed project plan for development project or research paper. So from the logo to the writing to all the vectors here, um, I created them but also with the help of Google because it's hard for me to draw. My focus is really on photo and video, not on graphics. So I had to research on how to create this stuff and have my pegs. <laughs> okay, dough back was for a marketing class. We're a group of people here. It's not just me who thought about dough back and have a taste of the past. Donut on a stick. And the flavors are like Mik Mik Yama Pochi. Even the collaterals are vi vintage and old style, old school, the fonts and everything. It's fun because it's fun to think about groupmates ko, so I swear. And when we pitched this, like nobody prepared. But I swear we answered all the questions and it's like we prepared for something. Somebody says something, someone backs it up like everything is so planned. But no man, we just stood there and YOLO <laughs> and I just love it. Oh, and this is a continuation of the posters that we created. Very Filipino and a throwback. Uh, contact, contact me. My updated portfolio website though, not the PDF version, at www.ikalansan.com if you just want to see some of my works. That's the last page. Oh, this is my logo. So that's the back page. I just wanted to say that this is plainly for my portfolio class and I also used this to apply to when I was unemployed, officially unemployed after graduation. I didn't yung OJT stuff. Ko. I have improved a lot also of course in terms of clients and uh, projects. I've dealt with also big names and I'm a bit proud of them. Although I can't show you the works I did because of some non-disclosure agreement. Uh, whatever is in my website right now is something that I could show because it's now posted online or in their Instagram or social media pages. And so are you guys graduates of MMA? Are you just browsing through your um, videos, suggested videos and you just came here out of nowhere? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Comment them down below. And if you are creating your own portfolio, updating your own portfolio, if you're an artist, what are your thoughts? What are the struggles you have? Just share them down below at the comment section and let's start a conversation. 
Now, if you want to see more of my videos about MMA, there's a playlist link down below and you can visit that. Whatever you want me to talk about in terms of MMA, I would gladly help. So comment them down below and I'm going to try to make a video. If you had fun today reacting to my old PDF portfolio, click the thumbs up icon. And if you want to see more, don't forget to click the red button down below and subscribe to my channel. This has been Ika. See you guys in my next vlog.